What's going on, world? It's your boy, Kuya P. This is the NR Dub. Nerds rule the world, and I'm here with my homie, Heather Hurt, who will hurt you if you act up and act a fool in these comments. But, you know, we need the hit, so go ahead, act up, and we'll correct you in the comments. We got a new trailer um, for our new film dropping very soon from Neon. This one is called Ennis Men, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's E-N-Y-S Men, Ennis Men. Um, I know nothing, but I've heard some positive vibes. Like, y'all got to see this. Um, what do you know about this? Have you heard anything about Ennis Men, Heather? I have not. You. Um, this, this is... You you pointed out just before, just to give everyone a back back scene. You you asked me about this while we were doing our uh, our picks for this week, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, everything else we picked this week was um was horror, so we needed to do something else anyway. So I'm curious to see. Let's do more horror. Let's, Let's do more, more horror. horror. More horror. Ain't nothing wrong with horror. You love yeah. the horror. We love the horror. Let's check this out. Yes, it's some kind of horror horrifying film. Let's see what it's all about. Here we sure. go. I love neon. They do some good indie stuff. Yeah. Are you lonely? Very old school so far. Not really. Okay. okay. Yeah. Th thoughts, Heather? Whoa. It's like Midsummer meets a 1970s uh, psychedelic thriller. Yeah, like like somebody lost like this. It, it looks like one, an old 80s VHS tape. Yeah. From the from a blockbuster that we've found, and whoa, it, it's got all those feels, that vibe, that. I think so well that that's a well done trailer. It got me intrigued enough to know what the fuck is going on. It has that scare factor. It has that visual appeal. Um, I'm all in on that, to be honest. Like, so yeah, now I can see what the buzz was about. And if mm -hmm. it was just people reacting from the trailer or from the film, um, cause it's releasing as of this recording this week. Um, I think it must've toured the festival circuit cause I was probably. hearing festival right. buzz. If, 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 so, it's neon, if it's neon, it's probably toward the circuit. So yeah. That looks, that looks, I'm intrigued. I really am. Like mm -hmm. that looks, I think your foreign, foreign horror films really get me. Yeah. Oh yeah. You there's, know, <laughs> there, there are some, they just, there are, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it, there, there are many films that like, there are, th there are themes that you just get everywhere. Like a romance movie is a romance movie is a romance movie. Yes. Yeah. Some countries do them better, but in reality, like a romance movie is a romance movie, but horror, horror, thrillers, psychedelics, like those films from an international stage, they're, they're more, they're far more artsy. I'm going to say it's far more artsy yeah. and often yeah. sits with you. Like we do a lot of monster stories, like a lot of monsters. Us in Japan, we, both of us do yeah. a lot of monsters, yeah. um, but across the pond, I feel like they do like, like mind churning terror better than we do. Psychological stuff. Yeah. Completely. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They know how to play with the camera, play with the stillness of a moment. Yeah. And yeah, that that was a well done trailer. Like, I want to watch that film now. Like, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, I had all the feels like, whoa, whoa. 
snap to that shot. Boom. Okay. I'm yeah. Very midsummer y vibes. Like, yeah, I'll just add all of that. Um that's it's a plus for me. Definitely okay. thumbs up. Yeah. How about so thumbs up for you as well? You're intrigued. You I'm check it out. Probably not running to the theater, but maybe if it's streaming. Yeah, I, I, I would I would dig in at the at um at home because I have a feeling it's one of those movies where you might need to rewind and be like, wait. <laughs> Did I just see that? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, and uh, to be honest, I'm I'm on a high because I was I loved how they shot that. I, I, no, it looks it looks great. It's just one of those where it's there are some movies yeah. where you it's so much easier to watch it at home because you're like, I yeah. I need to make sure that what I watched because if you're watching it in a theater perspective and like in a theater and you miss something, it bugs you the rest of the movie. Completely like, that's agree. What, that's what this one reminds me of. It's the moment that you miss something, you yeah. miss something, and it just ruins everything. So that's why I I think I want to see this at home. Yeah, and that, and that's what I was trying to get at in my was my statement. Like, I don't know if I'm running to the theater, mm -hmm. you know, if it was playing right now at the theater this weekend or whatever. Um, I would need to see at least one more trailer to like really grab me to push me to go to the trailer. But where it stands, I'm definitely catching it on streaming or absolutely online. And 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 to your point, I, that it always does. But I, it, you just made me realize something that I've lived through my entire life, where I see a movie like that and I want to. I wish I would have saw it at the at home instead of wasting my money because yeah, there's those moments where like fuck, I what the fuck did I just see? I need to rewind it and now I gotta wait forever for it to come out on home video now because I saw it in the trailer. So yeah, now that we have digital media and we can watch it at home, it, certain movies are better to play at home because <laughs> you can do that. So Good. all the things that you said, I echo Heather. Uh, I'm with you. <laughs> all right y'all if you are going to check out ns man if you've seen it at the festivals or if you want to talk more about this uh we're intrigued we want to know just up mm -hmm. in the comments heather how can they reach out to you you can reach out to me i was trying to figure out a joke and it didn't work you can talk to me about being really bad at jokes at nerd is the heather on twitter or at heather is a nerd on tiktok and instagram all right. And you can hit me up at the Legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, IG, Hive. And of course, here with Heather and the whole squad at the NRW and Annalise Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Those are our feelings on NS Men. Let us know your feelings as well in the comments below, y'all.